Hello my lovely friends. I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve and I hope your New Year is going to be, all of our New Year's is going to be fantastic. So I thought we will now react to, I have a few different ones up. So we are going to react to this one. This is going back, I think it's two years ago. Yep, two years ago. It's what it's really like to be a YouTuber. Vlogmas day 23. I really like that lipstick color on her. I don't like the eyeshadow color on her. She's wearing red and pink and I don't think they go together. But anyway, I think she's colorblind because she always calls what something that's orange red. Uh, anyway, let's get into this one and let's start. I'm going to make it a long one. You guys seem to like the long one, so I'm going to make it into a long one. This is just the reality. This is this is what it's like to be a, a YouTuber. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. It's crazy. Tomorrow when you're watching, it's my official birthday. Although it doesn't really feel like it because we already celebrated, but uh, yeah, it's almost Christmas, you guys. I put in that bra the Kosas brow gel. Is it too much? It matches my roots. I don't know. Is it too much? So we're about to play ourselves yet again because we are going to Target a couple days before Christmas and it is absolutely packed. I'm wearing my, I believe, Christmas sweatshirt. Cute, fun and fresh. But tomorrow's my grandma's birthday. Oh. And I am making her this cheese. Okay, so here's the thing. There's this cheese ball <laughs> recipe that she had. And I was like, why have you never made this cheese ball? And she's like, well, my grandkids don't like what's in it. So like, I never made it. And I'm like, ma'am, it's very thoughtful. But now I have to make you this cheese ball <laughs> for you, not for us. So um, I got all Sure. Sure, Jan. <laughs> sure. Making the cheese ball. Because she doesn't love cheese, Alexandra. No, it's just making it for her grandma. And you and I... When I say you and I, I mean whoever is watching. We are stupid. We are blind. We can't see that she likes cheese. So of course she's just making this for her grandma. All the stuff to make her the cheese ball. It's got like green peppers and pineapple, bacon, nuts. So we're gonna make the cheese ball. Everything that she likes. Later. And I'm gonna bring it over to her for her birthday tomorrow. And I also have her birthday gift, but I don't have a bag. Um, or I don't have any birthday wrapping paper. I don't have a bag. I'm probably just gonna buy a bag and wrap it in like tissue paper But that just came in. I'll show you guys actually because her birthday will have passed when you guys are watching um, So I've seen them everywhere. It's these custom cutting boards where you can have a recipe engraved into the cutting board and my grandma's biscuits are like her Her recipe her tried and true. She uses them for chicken and biscuits um, Strawberry shortcake stuff like that. So she uses them for more than one thing And I was like that could be so cute like because she has it on this I uh, just need to get her a card and a gift bag at the women's shelter and here and i'm loving it <laughs> what we must get done how about you bloody buy everything first and then show us instead of explaining what you need to buy we gotta play santa today y'all gotta play santa i'm sporting my crocs pretty hot thankfully it's been pouring all morning and it just let up in time for me to walk inside it is so busy everything's empty all the christmas empty i saw some valentine's day I kid you not. Um, but I grabbed. Oh, God. She even mentioned that in her last vlog, too, something about Valentine's Day. And I thought, oh, God, that's going to be the next. That's going to be the next big thing that she's going to do, like she does every year. Going through the motions of every season and every um, occasion of the year. These little towels. But seriously, guys, without that, she wouldn't have a life. Without her doing that, Oh, we wouldn't have content. <laughs> but if she got cancelled, I would absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. Because she's a liar. A new scrub daddy we needed. A card, gift bag, and then I got some. Ma and a manipulator. Matching Christmas pajamas for me and Yara for Christmas. All right, you guys. So I did my makeup. I watched, I've watched a Christmas movie. Of I watched have. Um, this Christmas with like... A bunch of famous actors in it. I can't remember who. Don't All I can think of is Chris Brown right now, who we do not Don't care. talk. And I am having just horrible, horrible cramps. A menstrual cycle is like a little thrown off from uh, the surgery. And I mean, I mean, I'm just not, I'm not feeling good. Not feeling good. And I just put on all this makeup just to film a TikTok. <laughs> and I'm like, I got your menstrual, your menstrual cycle is also thrown off by your hormones. You do realize that. 
And the bigger you are, the more it plays up with your hormones. So I'm just taking off. This is just the reality. This is this is what it's like to be a YouTuber. Um, is this what it was? Is this what this was about? I mean, I couldn't remember what it was about, but I just thought the title was a bit intriguing. So she's talking about trying to YouTube, trying to be a YouTuber and YouTube and having your, or going through menstrual craps. <laughs> she has such a hard life doesn't she such a hard life it's not like she has to go into work with menstrual cramps how would she like that when you have no choice but go into work put on that happy face speak to people while you're dying inside from the cramping i just want to take the makeup off <sighs> i think i want to put a heating pad on my lower abdomen that's what everyone's telling me to do since i can't take the same uh also, that yawn just reminded me. I just checked out her Instagram before. She's such a cow. She has posted this thing on her Instagram where... Um, hang on, let me go back into it and see if it's still there. Uh, ooh, okay. No. She has now changed her Instagram. In her Instagram, she had put that she was... Um, she was complaining about... Hang on, let me find, see if I can find it. No, she's taken it off, I think. Uh, let me have a look. She was complaining about... Um, oh, jeez, I don't remember now. She was complaining about something. Oh, that she had a really, really productive day. And you know how everyone has been saying to her, especially on my in my comments saying to her about being tired so in the back she had a sticker um like it was like a sticker it was a emoji sticker that said i'm tired so i think that was for us guys and i thought yeah you're always tired so that's why she put that up looking at her instagram at the moment omg oh my god oh my god have you guys seen what she's worn for new New year's eve outfit oh my god God, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, it's disgusting. It's like she has a white garbage bag on because it has no shape whatsoever with this horrendous black bow. Let me zoom in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just disgusting. This horrendous black bow with um, in the middle of it, it looks like it has, I don't know if it's got diamantes on it or if it has pearls. I think it's pearls. And her huge um, love heart necklace, but she's changed the chain to that and put it on a pearl necklace. She's <laughs> she's dressed like something from the no, I can't even say Titanic because they were dressed really lovely back then and elegant. She's just dressed. I don't know what the fuck she's dressed for. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, she's loving herself clearly um but it's just oh my god please you leave your opinions below please go to her post now and check out what she's wearing for her new year's eve outfit it's just horrible she buys all these clothes that can look really really nice on her and some of them actually do really look nice on her but oh my god you guys i've got to go to her instagram now and have a look oh it's just horrible it's just not flattering at all not flattering in my opinion okay let's get back to this cramp medicine anymore but my groceries just came in yeah i brought them inside so i do want to make my grandma's cheese ball so i think let's, let's take off this makeup let's get cozy uh and let's make some cheese ball all right let's do a grocery haul oh. this is everything we need jesus christ for the next few days for the christmas festivities these wegmans pita crackers they're really really good and they seem to be a hit with charcuterie boards so i'm making this. Do you know that she has ha made me hate the word charcuterie board? She's actually made me hate the word, as well as cute and cozy. She's actually destroyed them all for me. But when I say, hear her say charcuterie board, oh my god, I want to slap her into next week. Pull apart spinach and artichoke dip Christmas tree as an appetizer for Christmas Eve. So that'll be really fun. And again, I know people are going to be like, how are you not going crazy with all of these foods around you and you can't have them it's like i love preparing the foods I love and you love eating them and you love eating them and you have continued to eat them example your weight at the moment 2023 two years later 
you are heading back to exactly what we're seeing on the screen. Love seeing other people happy from the food. I love assembling the food. That's what it's about for me. Also, sure it is, Jen. You're giving me one more Christmas gift today because it just came in the mail or a birthday gift. It's um, from the same blender we have called Beast and it's a water infusible bottle. So you can put like fruit in there and it infuses your water because he knows I love, I used to always make fruit infused water. I love doing like berries or lemon and strawberry. I haven't seen that used since this video. Yeah, I did blueberries and strawberries. Mm. You just let it infuse for a couple hours. Oh, so yummy. So for the charcuterie, I took the lazy route. <laughs> I got pre cut cheese surprise surprise guys she took the lazy route who would have thought that was really a shock alexandra that was such a shock that you took the lazy route no never not you we don't believe it yes. um because i have a lot to do that day so gouda pepper jack um then i have some salami this is one of my favorite cheese the borson Ooh, delish oh, i also took the lazy route on this which i definitely shouldn't have on but everything. it was actually only 12 dollars hannaford great deal Oh my God. Pre-packaged again. Pre-packaged again. It's just freaking, oh my God, it's tomatoes and carrots and that. She couldn't cut them up herself. So she's really just assembling the charcuterie board. She's not actually making it. Cause I looked at the veggie platters at Wegmans and it was $20 and at Hannaford it was only 12. So it's really not a bad deal. My little snacky snack. Um, I got some mint for garnish and for the infusible water, mint. Ooh, mint infused water cucumber and mint amazing um i got some pomegranate seeds for the charcuterie okay so we're gonna make the cheese ball um so it was perfect they had a little bag of chopped walnuts because i don't need like a ton this is exactly how much i need so we're gonna need walnuts for the cheese we're gonna need these crushed pineapple and pineapple juice drained that's gonna be needed for the cheese ball and then just for us um we needed bananas for the cheese ball oh, as well how many times am i gonna say cheese ball one green pepper oh my gosh, uh, she's still talking the house we got some more crackers so sorry. pita crackers i have rosemary olive oil triscuits and, and i have italian herb townhouse crackers um we got some more yerba Yerman has been running on yerba and then we also have some sharp cheddar bacon is for the cheese ball and chicken breasts for dinner tonight and cheese for the pull apart bread and then everything else all processed food except the chicken all processed food. This was from Wegmans that I already put away. So um, stay tuned because the Christmas Eve vlog is- And this is right after her surgery. Are you tell me she's not gonna eat any of that stuff on the charcuterie board? It's gonna be lit. We'll do a lot of cooking that day. I mean, it's gonna go up on Christmas, but we're gonna do a lot of cooking that day. It's gonna be a blast. I'm watching Gabriella Fortunato's new vlog on the little Google Nest that you are set up. It's perfect right here above the stove. Like, I love it. And before anyone asks, it does not get hot up here. <laughs> so it's, it's good. <laughs> All right, here's what you need for the cheese ball. We need a half a cup of chopped nuts. Half and half, because some will go in and some will be on the outside. Cup of chocolate. You've shown us a hundred times. Oh my god, that chopping board is moving as she's cutting on it. Is that driving anyone else nuts watching that? I hate pineapple and I hate pineapple in anything. So excited I'm watching the Santa Claus for the first time. That's it? We don't get to see what that look like? We don't get to see what that look like. And this year, I love this movie. It's just one of my absolute favorites with Tim Allen. It's just such a cozy movie. Was this probably the white one? Yeah. The, like the and one? it had like one, two, it had I'm wrapping up the vlog oh. of this movie. It's just one of my absolute favorites with Tim Allen. It's just such a cozy movie. I'm wrapping up the vlog. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Hello, everyone. These are amazing. You like the scrub daddies? Yes. Do you like that better or the scrub mommy? She's constantly leaning on him, grabbing him, pulling him towards her because there's no affection coming from him. Um, I can't believe she didn't show us those, <laughs> those cheese things she made. That's that's how much she can't be bothered with her audience. The scrub might be the white one. Like yeah, the, like the and it one. had like one, two, it had like two sides. That one's kind of just all scrub. Well, I like this one because it's like stiffer and it, unless the other one was stiffer too. No, this one's definitely stiffer, I think. Yeah, so. Um, like that one better? I don't know, it's hard to tell the first time using it. That's the end of the vlog. Sorry, today's vlog was kind of- She just wanted everyone to see that he's doing the dishes. I mean, doesn't everybody's husband at one stage do the dishes or another? Boring, but- yeah, vlogs are never boring. Thank you, darling. But you all had cramps. And crampies. <laughs> I wouldn't know. But I'll be back again tomorrow with a better vlog. Oh, that arm. 
Oh, that arm. Okay, again, I have all these tabs open at the top. So these are just going to be random, okay? Oops, pressing the wrong thing. I bleed myself. Oh, good. Ah, uh, oh, this is the same Vlogmas 2020. Two years ago. Oh, hang on. Did I say 2020? No, nah, tw oh, sorry. Day 20. Two years ago. Elf. <laughs> My Vlogmas family shout out to his family good morning it is the 19th when you're watching it's the 20th we are in the christmas home stretch i'm pretty excited um it's like <laughs> this is so corny but like it's like i'm excited because we're getting close to christmas but then i also get kind of depressed because like i'm like i don't want it to be over i don't want christmas to be over but you know because she only lives for occasions guys she has nothing else going on in her life she only lives for occasions she really doesn't have a life. It's quite sad. Now, for all who are going to come at me and say to me, you don't have a life because you're sitting down reacting to her, I have a very fulfilled life, thank you very much. I just like reacting because I got sick of yelling at the screen with no one else listening. <laughs> now, I have a group of beautiful ladies who like to listen and yell and agree with me. <laughs> You know what? We've still got some time. We've got some time to do some Christmassy things. I really, really need to wrap today. Okay, I'm sorry. Who else hates the way they look with a ponytail like this? <laughs> I just didn't have the energy. But what's new? You always have it like that. So I don't understand what the big deal is. You always wear your hair like that. You're like, make it look cute today. I should have like parted it in the middle. Oh, I'm using that scrunchie from yesterday. I should have used a little middle part moment. Now what you should have done is done this before you came on camera. Mini wet brush. Great to keep in the purse. Maybe that would help if it was a middle part. My hair is like also kind of no, still too short. It's actually, oh, it's actually worse. To like fit in a middle pony. I don't think that really helped much. No, to it, it didn't. Whatever. whatever. Yeah, so I need to wrap presents today. That is what I'm dedicating today to. Um, so I will say today we were actually supposed to go to New York. We were gonna go to New York. Yar planned a whole birthday trip for me. So unfortunately, New York is very unsafe right now. It's just like they're getting close to like the red zone again. Um, and <laughs> multiple things that Yarman had planned for us got canceled. Yesterday he got an email that the Rockettes that he had booked for us got canceled and he showed me, he's like, I am so sorry. Like I had all these things planned, all these surprises and like they're all shutting down or they're all canceled. Like, and he said, he's like, we can still go if you want. You know, I had certain restaurants we could go to cause I believe you can go if you're vaccinated and you have your card. He's like, there are certain restaurants. We can go see the tree if you still want. Oh God, just hearing about that just depresses me all over again. Remember when you had to have you have to sh had to show proof that you were vaccinated to get in somewhere and oh god it was a horrible time. I know there have been worse times in life for a lot of people. Um, you know over many hundreds of years or whatever, but I'm just talking about what I experienced with COVID. Um, oh, it's just so depressing. I hate it. But he had so many like sweet, fun events planned that we wouldn't be able to go to. And then on top of that, I'm like, I'd rather just be safe and not go. Um, I don't want to get exposed, especially before Christmas. I mean, granted we are boosted up, but I'd just rather not even expose us to anything like that and just keep us safe, keep others safe. So um, we canceled our trip to New York, uh, but <laughs> he like showed me this piece of paper. He had like, oh, he had like- Oh, please, please. It's like, oh, I've got the best husband, guys. I've got the best husband. He's the only one that does this. All these different things planned and like scribbled out and then moved over here. And like, honestly, his effort is everything. We're trying to figure out something else. He, well, he's planning something else. I don't know, something more local. So he said, well, I hope you're appreciating his effort because he certainly doesn't have affection. Uh, leave it in his hands. <laughs> he is planning something else for my birthday. So. I'm not talking about him groping her on camera or giving her smoochy kisses, but you know, a little peck on the cheek here and there, it's not going to hurt. Um, you know, we had the next several days kind of blocked off for my birthday trip. So I honestly told him, I was like, literally the other day was like a birthday trip, like going to the Breakers Mansion and having that igloo dinner. I'm like, that very well could have been my birthday. Um, but he still wants to plan something else for me, which is super sweet. So we'll see. I'd be happy with anything, honestly. I've had such a fun month. I like just don't even care. Like I just love this season so much. And like the other day, it was so much fun with him um, in Newport. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll take you along because we have the next several days open. Um, but I'm almost kind of relieved because I feel like I still have a lot to do 
um, like especially wrapping, um, planning out Christmas Eve, like I have a few games I wanna do, planning out recipes for Christmas Eve, you know, grocery shopping. I really need to like clean the house. Um, like that's super, super important. Like Vlogmas is such a busy time. Um, My God, look at that redness under her eyes there. Is that from rosacea? What is that from? It can't be from sunburn because it's clearly it's winter and, and that, but it's that really the house bad. is like not up to my normal standards. So especially with guests coming over, I really want to clean the house. Uh, so yeah, it just looks so tender and painful. Now we got time to do all of that, and I will take you guys along. I just did so much skincare. I'm like yeah. so shiny. You're not wrong. Me, but I did that Origins mask. Oh my god, those Dr. Dennis Gross sensitive pads are awesome. Like I feel like my skin is already looking like brighter and more even. And I also love that um, herbivore facial oil as well. I use that. And then um, I use the Laneige Water Bank cream. And my skin has been looking really healthy. I got a pimple coming in hot right here. <laughs> but I don't know. I actually have a facial book tomorrow. That's one of many that you have on your face, love. As well. For a little pamper moment, I've been trying to do a facial once a month. And I feel like that's been helping my skin a little bit too, but... Honestly, it's mostly just for me to relax. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the car. Sorry for this long wind. That was a bit of truth there. Honestly, it's just an excuse for me to relax. Fine, say that. At least she's saying the truth. I did morning ramble. Um, I'm actually headed back to the mall. What do you know? So friggin' Yarmin, <laughs> the love of my life, his Uniqlo friggin' pants that he tried on in the dressing room. The ones he tried on um, ended up being a little too big, so he got the next size down, and then he, we got home, he never tried them on, and he was like, these are actually too small. So now, <laughs> I was like, I don't have a lot going on today. Do you want me to go exchange them? Um, he's working on his final first. No, you didn't offer. He asked you to exchange them. Cool. So I'm gonna go return those for him. Um, I hope the mall is not too crazy. This is like my millionth time at this mall, and it's the Sunday before Christmas. It's gonna be crazy. I'm playing myself. I played myself. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna go exchange those, and just like in and out. That's what this um, vlog was titled. She played herself because she's got to go back into the mall and return his stuff. Oh my God. Bing bong. And then we're gonna come back and wrap presents. But this is the Skims Cozy Fleece Obsessed. I'm gonna link it. It's the coziest, the coziest. Like it's so stretchy and just so soft and luxurious. You need it, so. All right, let's no, let's go meet it. our fate at the mall. All right, yeah. Let's stop clicking your annoying mouth. It's busy. <laughs> the mall opens in two minutes. It is packed. I got really lucky. It's just people, you freaking idiot. It's just people. That's exactly why she doesn't have a job. I don't understand how she worked at Mecca. I just don't get how she worked at Mecca because people have to come in. Can you imagine her anxiety when every when each person walked up to her and asked her for help? We got a, spot, a good spot, kind of, well, kind of. And that's why she does this now, because she can speak to people on the camera and not actually speak to people um, in reality, because she can't cope with speaking to people or being amongst people. Wish me luck, y'all. All right, mission accomplished. Okay, you guys, I am home. I had some lunch. I actually ran and did. And you survived. A Target pickup, because it was packed, so I placed an order <laughs> to the drive up, because I also Of course you did. You don't want to see people. I don't want to get sucked in anything. Gotta stay No, fucking. it's not because you don't want to get sucked in because you love spending money. It's because you don't want to see people. That's what it is. We all know that. You don't have to lie. We are not stupid. Some of us may be stupid. Some of your your watches are stupid, yes. But a lot of us aren't. We know why you didn't. Best on Christmas. So, um, all right, here's the situation. So I wanted to share a really fun game that I'm gonna be playing at my Christmas Eve party. So I wanna let you guys know a few days before. So if you wanna play it, I will say, I feel like I am the last person <laughs> to really do this level. It's not that original at all. Um, but I see a lot of people play this on like TikTok and just all over. So it's like the present unwrapping mitten game. So I went to Target, I'm not gonna show, just in case my family's watching, but I got two kind of just fun, snacky gifts for um, <laughs> surprise surprise snacky gifts um the game to play with my family and i also got gift tape so the family stands in a circle at the table and there's two wrapped presents or you can just do one i'm probably gonna do two rounds um i'm definitely vlogging this because it's gonna be hilarious um and one person puts on mittens and starts trying to open the present Meanwhile, the next person is rolling dice, trying to get a double of a number. They're rolling quick, quick, quick. And once they get the dice number, then it's the next person's turn. It's their turn to put the mittens on and try to unwrap it. And whoever gets it on- Well, she doesn't do the dice thing anymore. Wrapped on their turn gets to keep the gift. So 
Um, I highly recommend YouTubing that if, you, if my words make no sense, <laughs> just YouTube like mitten unwrapping present game <laughs> and it looks so fun and just like a riot. So I have a couple games that I want to play on Christmas Eve. I think it's gonna be very hectic and fun. So anyway, it's finally time to wrap because I went and grabbed these last two things because other than that, I have everything I need to wrap. Oh, wait, <laughs> oh, there's one more thing that's coming in the mail. That's fine. See, that's the Capricorn in me. I'm like, I want to do it all in one day at one time. Anyway, I, I feel like that's just, I'm waiting for one last thing to come in because one thing that was personalized came in and was wrong. And I was like, ma'am. So I messaged the company and they didn't answer me, but then they finally answered me. And they, um, the last couple years, I usually put on all of the office Christmas episodes. Oh, you wrap. always just... do. So, all right, we're going to start off. I'm going to go season by season. Um, makes me just so happy. up <laughs> well the hair is back in the yep that really helped you flicking out those two sides really changed the look of your face unattractive pony i am currently searing us some chicken breasts i have a sweet potato in the oven and i'm gonna make some broccoli and pretty much now you know i cook like healthy dinners ah! <laughs> oh i'm so sorry bubba i just get sinatra again He's sleeping on my bed. I'm sorry, Bubba. It's just stupid Alexandra made me laugh out loud. I'm sorry, Angel. <laughs> she cooks healthy dinners. She's cooking healthy dinners, guys. And, you know, I can have probably just about a quarter of what I used to have amount-wise of it. But it's kind of nice. I feel like I'm past, you know, the points with food where, you know, cooking isn't like... <laughs> crazy or difficult like and yar is always open to eat whatever which is nice um so i have chicken in the pan sweet potato in the oven and then at the end i'm just gonna steam some oh like, that all right. fucking mouth click that used to drive me insane so she replaced the mouth click with the finger thing and the hand thing i need you guys to see how delish this sauce looks for the chicken no it doesn't i'm gonna put the recipe link below it smells phenomenal so it was like shallot but i didn't have a shallot so i used red onion garlic um and scarlet thyme part it's called shallot 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 it's shallot parsley cooking wine broth um and that's everything but it smells so insane <laughs> like just so good the whole house smells like homey yummy and guys look at how freaking huge this sweet potato is that we're gonna share it is ginormous all right you guys wrapping up this vlog in front of the christmas tree got on christmas cookie show i don't know what exactly it is i love any and all christmas cooking shows but that's it for today the she's very manic in this very manic okay let's go to the next one not much happening in this one good morning christmas ended on a rough night uh, two years ago. So it's the same vlogmas. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Oh, I guess you already watched yesterday. <laughs> so I'm just having a little smoothie. It's actually almost 12. We had a really rough night. So last night, my mom's type 1 diabetic. Um, she's been type 1 diabetic for... Yeah, and we see how you've been helping her with this in 2023. And someone left a, a comment, not a nasty comment, but someone left a comment in my um, notes saying diabetics can have a treat now and then. Oh, absolutely. No doubt about it. I, I am not one to say that they cannot have any treats at all. But when they treat themselves like Alexandra's been buying and the mother's been buying, that's a bit much. That's a little bit much. But of course they can have treats. I never, ever said that they cannot have treats. For like 30 years and but it's not something that you ideally would go out of the way and buy someone who is a diabetic but stupid Alexandra does I don't know I would love to know if this has happened to any of you guys but um, she just got her booster shot recently 
and it's like kind of it kind of flares up issues with her diabetes when she first gets the covid shots like after she had her second dose over the summer like she got really bad low blood sugar and like fainted like in public and last night like we said goodnight to each other she calls me at like 11 and i'm like are you okay and she's like no like i can't get my blood sugar up and my mom has been diabetic for so long she's really good at managing it like she has her routines her whole life she's been able to feel so instead of calling an ambulance or going into the er she calls you how on earth are you supposed to help her you can't even help yourself when her blood sugar is getting really low um and she has you know stuff at her house to get it back up and it's so weird since she got the vaccine like it doesn't come up easily and she also doesn't get symptoms like when she get really low blood sugar before she would you know feel like she's gonna faint and get like wicked sweaty and like she just it's like very obvious and regardless she has a sensor and it goes off and it lets her know when it's getting low thank god or trending downward because she used to be able to feel it and now she can't feel it so last night she was like i've been trying to get my blood sugar up for like two hours also what i'm thinking guys as she's talking through this oh god what a screenshot sorry as she's talking through this most of us love our mothers or loved or love our mothers to death some people don't get along with mothers some people have got issues with their mothers which is fine i'm talking about the people most of the people who do love their mothers and she you can tell she loves her mum. she really does so i ask myself why would you buy her something that you know is not good for her that will shorten her life she's killing her why would you do that just to make her happy you can make her happy in other ways without buying her you know chocolates and that i mean she's freaking out over this you can see she's very stressed and concerned over what happened oh god look at her she looks horrible um why would you have you forgotten about this like watch this alexandra and if you're watching it i hope you do change your your in the future your gifts for your mum and that they're not just sugary things from like 9 to like 11 when she called me she's like i can't get it up and it's just getting lower it was below 40 which it's supposed to be like 100 130 that's like or take her to fairs where she's eating corn dogs full of sugar coating her sweet spot and she was like i'm just really scared i'm gonna faint again and you know she lives alone and she's like i'm just afraid i'm gonna pass out again we were on the phone and i was like it's okay it's okay like you know um yara and i immediately got up and we're getting dressed to, to go because she, she ended up in the hospital over the summer when she fainted like in public like and she didn't remember it, it was really really scary i'm like i think we need to call an ambulance i think we need to call an ambulance because like i know when it's so low like she starts to lose like coherence and if she faints like no one's gonna be able to help you know so um she had a rough experience in the hospital and she's like oh, oh she can't even breathe properly i want to go to the hospital i'm like i'm like mom i think we need to call an ambulance because like i'm 45 minutes away like we're getting in the car and we're coming but if you faint like i'm like let's stay on the phone at least until i get there and then she ended up throwing up all because she ate some hard candies trying to get it up because the orange juice didn't work um and orange juice usually will bring your blood sugar right up it's like what they do with the doctor so she was having hard candies which usually always helps the blood sugar come right up in like 10 15 minutes but it wasn't going up for two hours and it was going down even with her having so much sugar um which just that would have been very scary and i have heard of the covid um shot doing that to people very like uncommon anyway so she ended up like we we're on the phone she's throwing up she just threw up all the hard candies she ate i'm like mom i'm sorry like i'm calling an ambulance like i can't we're on the way yara's driving us there at this point but like i'm like if you if you pass out like i don't i don't want you i don't want you to pass out so i called her an ambulance um, and she, we kept each other on speaker as the ambulance got there and until we got to my mom's apartment the mts were so nice like oh my god they were the sweetest two guys ever <sighs> um they were so so good so good so they were like they were baffled by it like they were like this is so strange like this you know and then at that point they're trying so many different things they end up giving her like this glucose kind of goop which should bring it right up and even after she had the whole tube it still after that took about two more hours for it to go up to a normal range which is just it's so not common we were there with her and so that after they were there for like almost an hour by the time we got there she was so they were so nice they were like look it slowly like it went up like maybe 10 points i think it hit 60 by the time you know we were there and they were like you know if it doesn't continue to go up like you got to go to the hospital and get an iv where they can like kind of more directly get that sugar in you um but since we were there with her they felt comfortable leaving so that we could keep an eye on it with her we were just constantly checking her blood sugar because um she could check on her phone because it's inserted so that was good but um oh my god it was absolutely just so scary like and while the EMTs were there too like it would go up a few points then it would go down more points like it, it... you know what she'll say though about this guys i know her so well she will say 
well, that just happened because it was because of the COVID thing, which very well may be. But she will use that as an as an excuse to say, well, this is why she can now eat normal stuff because now her body's gotten used to it and she's not having the boosters anymore. So, yeah, she's all right to eat this stuff now. It just made no sense. So Yara and I ended up being at her apartment um, for a few more hours. We didn't get home until almost three, but eventually we got it up uh, after she had a ton of that glucose goop, uh, like half a peanut butter sandwich. Um, all those hard candies, OJ, like, it's just crazy. And she's just so good with her insulin. Like, she's so good with it. So it's just really crazy that, like, this is what has started to happen since the vaccine. So I would love to know if any of you guys have had that experience. And the EMTs, actually, they were like, I don't know if this is a coincidence, but we did have something similar happen, you know, with another experienced type 1 diabetic who's had it for decades. Um, and I guess she was, like, on vacation here, and, like, something similar happened with her, where, like, all of a sudden she doesn't get symptoms for the low blood sugar and, like, like faded out of nowhere, you know? Because usually, like, they can tell if it's going to get that bad and get it under control. It's fine now, it's fine. She's okay, now she's just really tired. And the good thing is, um, because I'm always worried about my mom, always. Especially with the low blood sugar and her being not so close. And you need to start worrying about yourself, love. You need to start worrying about yourself, about your sugar. Um, I was able to, on her like blood sugar app, I was able to like share it with me so I can get alerts when her blood sugar gets low. So if anything ever happens, like I can always check on her, I can know what's going on. So that was a huge relief. That like now, like the whole night on the ride home, I was like checking her blood sugar. I'm like, I'm like is it still trending? <laughs> is it still st trending upward? But um, we didn't leave until she was completely good. I was like, come stay with us. I'm like, come sleep at her house. But she's very like, likes her own space. She's like, I'm okay now, I'm okay. But uh, yeah, it was a long night, long night. So I'm just glad she's okay. And now I can track her blood sugar regularly on my phone and get alerts, which is a huge relief. So yeah, anyway, you just um, mentioned that, that was our night last night. So crazy ending to Christmas. But now we're just kind of pooped and we're kind of, just, I think we're just gonna take it really slow today. And my mom and I are not gonna run errands now. Like we're both, we're both just like, okay, it's a lazy, it's a lazy day today. If you guys have a single parent that you're just so close to, you know, like that, that like love and constant worry you have for them. All right, you guys, that's just the update. I had two parents and I was constant worried about both of them. That doesn't mean just because you have one, you're constantly worried about them. When you have two parents, you also constantly worry about them. Well, I did anyway. For now, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, and um, I will check in a little bit later. All right, you guys, we are going to go over and do a little Target run. Not a pickup, a Target to run, um, because I just ran out of the period pills that I showed you guys, the natural ones. Oh my God, guys, she's going on about a fucking period again. My God. I know everyone in the comments, you guys were making me laugh and saying, of course we know when her period... I think we could track her period. She doesn't need that ring tracker. She just needs to go in her um, comment section. We can tell her when she's due. So, um, I got them here at Target, so, uh, I need, I need to grab those. And we just ran out of toilet paper, uh, like, we have, like, a couple left, but, like, I have back, <laughs> I got back of toilet paper. Um, so toilet paper, I had the last banana in my smoothie this morning, um, just, like, a random couple of things, and yeah, I know, I'm always at Target. Oh, she's talking about toilet paper, remind me of Foodie Beauty. I cannot believe she's going back to... Her husband it was disgusting i'm not just talking about the fetish i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about some of you who do follow foodie Beauty too will know what i'm talking about i can't believe she's going back to him. each to their own it's not my life it's her life it's her marriage but um that's not what you know really offended me i couldn't care less that's his fetish and i don't care about that but it really pissed me off what he said about the um the cross and what he said about the Bible and about graping the woman is disgusting. I cannot stand him. I think he is a piece of shit. I'm Catholic and I'm proud. I don't care who is what. I don't care if you worship someone who you think has two heads. As long as you're not hurting one or hurt anyone. I don't care. You worship whoever you want to worship. I'm not I've got nothing against any other cultures, any other religions. But when you act like you're on your freaking high horse, like he always does, he always acts like he was, you know, oh, he's such a great, proper Muslim. And then you go and talk about like that about someone else's religion. No, you're a piece of shit is what you are. And it's like probably funny for a lot of people, <laughs> but it's my happy place. I'm just in like a really weird headspace today, not because it's after Christmas, like I'm feeling actually just very grateful for the Christmas I had and grateful for my family and, you know, grateful for all the blessings I have. I just, I had something else um, go on with me as well <laughs> last night before my mom, like it's just like, everything's fine. It's just like, it's been like a really, really intense, like 24 hours or 12 hours, I don't even know. <laughs> I absolutely love those period natural PMS relief pills. Um, 
I'm she, not um, listening to her talking about her period it. anymore. We need to do that. I also have a return I was going to do, and then I realized I got in the car, and I'm like, clean a little with my car goo. You are cleaning my car, like, last week, and somehow it's... I hate that bag. That Louis Vuitton Sherpa bag is so freaking ugly. All right, so I did end up grabbing a little way to organize my console situation because it's always a mess. Like I'm always just shoving stuff in there. It's just always a big problem. And I'm gonna keep this bag in the car as a trash bag. <laughs> okay, so I did grab stuff for like kind of like car emergencies, things I'm kind of always wishing I had in the car because this is also the car yarn I take like everywhere. His car is really low to the ground and it's kind of tight in there. <laughs> I'm a big girl, he's a wide guy. So um, I went ahead and grabbed. I'm a big girl, he's a wide guy. No, he's not wide. You're wide. He's not wide. This statue. She keeps insulting him about his weight. Like in the other honeymoon one when she said um, we're just two big people. No, no, you're big. You're the size of two people, yeah. But Yama isn't. Bag to put everything in. Um, I love these stature bags. Does she think we so really don't have eyes and we can't see? Size, just to kind of have as like a little. But this one's really pretty. Isn't that like super pretty? So got our little brush. This is like the biggest item too. So it's like, I'm gonna need to go in here as well and see. Um, but it's really nice and. Okay, so everything she's bought, she's putting you know, in there. Portable, convenient. Nice to throw in our little bag. Not watching that. One. I'm trying to keep it clean. I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> and then we've got the lighter cover. I got this on Amazon, I believe. But it definitely does get all the dust out of like crevices in your car. But like, see, I feel like it's lost its gusto. It's lost its like sticky powers. Well, it's getting some of it, not as much as I want. Sorry, I'm like genuinely just trying to give you guys content today because I like. I exactly. I was just going to say that and she took the words out of my mouth. She has no content, so she's making us watch her take out dust. And I'm not watching that anymore. Okay, let's see what the next one has to offer. Then a really big wave. Oh, God, her stories. Perfect Beach Day vlog. Was that, say, three or two years ago? Two years ago. Came and like she was like she kind of she looked like horrified so I grabbed her and lifted her up. Is today Mama Fearless and I are having a beach day. I thought I would take you along for the journey and do kind of like just a day vlog of like the day, <laughs> you know. Rather, they are cutting. How is that comfortable? Cutting into her shoulders like that, Jesus. What are you thinking wearing thin straps like that? Putting it in other vlogs. I feel like sometimes no, just like and lifting your arm is not doing anything. What do you think it's doing? It's just, oh my god, no. Please stop with the lifting of the arm. Day vlog is fun. Also, the hair's getting long. It's a good, pretty good ponytail. I haven't had a ponytail this good in a while. Yar was up super early because he has to drive to New York for a family thing, but I just can't bring myself to make the bed right now. It's one of those days, full transparency. I just, I don't want to make the bed. I just woke up and my allergies are just like, ugh, like, gross. But I have on my Shein. Way too short shorts. Way too short. Favorite one piece and these good American shorts. I'm really excited because my mom and I have not had a beach day yet. We try to do at least one beach day a year. So we're going to Scarborough Beach in Narragansett, Rhode Island, and we love that beach. It's nice and warm. Then we go to Iggy's after to get to, they call it Doughboys. <laughs> so very exciting. It's gonna be a fun day. She's on her way here, and then we're gonna drive. So I gotta go walk the dog before we go, and it's gonna be a great day. Okay, just prepping for the beach. I have on doggy TV. Just walked Coco and fed him. Um, another thing, recently I asked you guys on Instagram. She has her doggy TV. 
Instagram if you also are struggling with separation anxiety. This is, oh, so she keeps the dogs on the TV to entertain her own dog. And she didn't even show us her taking that dog for a walk. Did we think that she took the dog for a walk? No, we don't. With your dog, I put the shirt that I sleep in last night in his bed, put on doggy TV, it's like soothing music. It seems like a lot of you guys were also struggling with that. And then I also in the freezer have like, um, it's like this silicone licky mat for dogs and you put peanut butter in it, freeze it, and then only use it when- Oh, this is when she had cocoa. When you leave. So it's like an exciting treat they know they get when you're leaving. Um, and then they like, it takes a long time for them to lick it. It's supposed to be like soothing um, and like distracting. So a few little tips. This bag has been my just like a lifesaver. Like I you're the last one to give tips on how to treat dogs and what to give them. I mean, you're good at giving them treats, but don't tell us what to give our dogs. I got it like kind of just on a whim and I use it so much for beach days. So you got like, because when things get too rough, you rehome them. Little pocket in the front. Here is my chapstick. I have been looking for my, oh my gosh, I've been looking for this. You've got this little pocket in the front. I keep like a hair tie, a couple spare contacts just in case. And then it has two insulated pockets, but I end up putting just everything in here, like my beach towel, sunscreen, and then like in the zipper. I don't know if you guys heard that. It was a weird sound, but I was just kissing Sinatra on the head. Oh, just the thought of rehoming him. I would rather die than rehome him. Jesus. One, I put like, you know, stuff I want to keep cold, but... It's really a great bag. I'll see if I can find it and link it for you. All right, so I'm packing the super goop towel. We've got multiple different kinds of sunscreen I'm trying to use up. You already know the Chub Rub Cream. This little roll up Amazon hat. Oh, God, um, I hate that hat. This stuff, but this little roll up Amazon hat is amazing. It's like a sun hat, but it's open on the top. So you can put your ponytail or your bun through it and it's so much less hot, but like you can shade your face it's in ugly. the sun. Um, and these are really cool. Oh, <laughs> I love these. They're so good. Sweet Sriracha, if you like that kind of flavor. I just like these little beans, but they're, oh my god, they're so yummy. And then just some pistachios. So guys, we took an unexpected. God forbid you go to the beach without snacks. To pit stop. You want to tell them what you did, mom? <laughs> well, I had my bathing suit top on, <laughs> but the bottoms are in Alexandra's bathroom because that's where I swim. And I forgot them. <laughs> she forgot. So her I ain't got no bottoms. <laughs> so we're almost at the beach. I really dislike her hair this color. We just stopped at uh, Marshall's and she got some shorts to wear today, but the fall stuff is out. That would look really pretty on my table, <gasps> wouldn't it? Oh my god, you have to get it. Those $20. The exact it's the perfect too. color. She is such a shopaholic. How excited she gets and she gets to her mom, oh my god, you have to get it. You have to get it. It's She's so impulsive. <gasps> Girl. I'm just get it, please. Fine. Yay. Talk me into it. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited for fall. We're gonna do a home goods fall pumpkin. trip soon. Yay. <gasps> you gotta love a, a felt pumpkin. Also, guys, the bottoms you found, they're from Reebok. They're the exact same here, color. Okay, so here it is. Like, how lucky am I? Like, it's identical. It's crazy. We made it. We made it. Yes, we did. Oh, it smells so good. And it's perfect weather. It is sunny, but not humid, not too hot. High seven. And if she doesn't look like Peter Griffin here. <laughs> oh, God, is Peter Griffin all over. Peter Griffin, it's his chin. It's the way that they, you know, they draw his chin, they outline. <laughs> oh, God. Guys. I don't even know if they'll be able to hear me with the wind, but my mom and I, I'm sitting on my towel. My mom and I just went swimming and the waves are really good today. We've been here for a couple hours. We're in the water for like an hour. And just like, she, I think she said she was 70. She said she was 72. 72. Why do you keep licking your lips for? It's so disgustingly annoying. Shout out to Bonnie. <laughs> well, uh, she was coming in the water and she was just like, we heard her saying, she was like, is it scary? And we were, we were kind of confused, like, because there are rocks in her. Like, well, she's like, no, the rocks are better. Like, you just come a little further. And she's then I ended like, up, I have sand shoes. yeah, she's like, I have on the sh protective okay. shoes, not the rocks, like being the problem. So I like kind of grab. Stop licking your fucking lips. Sorry. Grabbed her hand and helped her. And she was like, I guess, had she never like swam in waves before? That's impossible. She's been to Plum Island. She's been to Plum Island. But she seemed really scared. I don't know. Anyway, she was nervous about the waves, and we were like kind of teaching her how to jump in the waves. And she's only five feet tall. And she's only five feet tall. She was so, so cute. She had on like a cowboy hat. She was just the cutest thing in the world. So why am I making fun of her? Then a really big wave came, and like she was like, she kind of, she looked like horrified, so I grabbed her and lifted her up, and I like fell underwater. 
<laughs> but I like lift her up and I fell under. She's like, are you okay? Oh my God, thank you. And then we all, me and my mom ended up for the next like hour lifting her up over the big waves and she was having the funnest time to like literally, Whee! yeah, she kept saying we. It was so cute. But it really was just like the most heartwarming experience. <laughs> such, such a doll, oh my God. So we just hung out with her in the water for a while and now we're just drying off and soaking it up. It's nice, it's really not too hot today. Um, it's like perfect. Hopefully you guys can hear me, it's so windy. Okay, so the hot tea is that there is like a circle hole here that doesn't look like a hole. Someone just fell into it when I was napping. I'm in my chair now. My mom is not here. I fell asleep. <laughs> so asleep. I woke up and she's gone. Oh, also the tide woke me up because I was laying on my towel and the tide came in and like woke me up. <laughs> I also have a lot of sand in my hair right now from sleeping on my towel. I, I don't understand how she can sleep in the sun. I'm not one of those people that can. I don't know if you guys can, but I'm not. Turned and like just covered in sand. Covered in sand. Pick this up at Marshall's. Uh, this is do. like one of my favorite snacks. If you don't like caramel and cheddar popcorn together or you've never tried it, you have to try it. It just hits different. Mom's back there drying off. We're wrapping it up. We're gonna go over to Iggy's Clam Shack and have some seafood. Let me know below if you're the kind of person my mom has to shower before she leaves the beach. She doesn't even like to go to a beach that doesn't have no, I will not go to showers. <laughs> but I totally get it. Like, I get it. I just like, Stupid. <laughs> Say it. Well, it's just like you going into a car that you can't have snacks. You can't go into a car and not have snacks. I don't think it's stupid. Say I can tolerate a little it. sand Say on it. me. We have arrived to Iggy's clam shack. The old one is over here, and they like redid it a couple years ago, I think. Now, I haven't been here in years because of COVID, of course. So I'm very hyped. It's so good. Yar wants Doughboys with just granule sugar and no powdered sugar, which I find fascinating. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think fish and chips sounds good. All right, food tour for you guys. Me and mom are gonna share some doughboys. I got some. It's not me and mom, it's mom and I. Um, for Yar, we didn't know our meals came with clam chowder. I'm pretty excited about. We got a couple Diet Cokes. Ketchup, tartar sauce. There's your clams on top. I've never seen a, a Tupperware of this width before. What? Why Tupperware? Because the fish is wicked long. Look at the fish. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. That looks amazing. God, I think I'll save my chowder for tonight when I want to snack. Like seven or eight, or should I eat it? It's a good idea. I mean. It's not a bad idea to bring the yeah, clam chowder home. Too. Oh, it's a lot. We have a lot going on. <laughs> Hello, I am popping on here to wrap up the vlog. Hang out with you guys for a minute. Oh, I just took the best shower. Also, I'll say it for the millionth time. If you don't have the plus size friendly. If that's not Peter Griffin, it, all over. Someone asked me to look up. Someone asked me to look up Peter Griffin in a dress and I did. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. And yeah, he she looks exactly like Peter Griffin. Any towels yet? I'll link them. Just get them. Invest once. They're great. I've said this before, but like not because she's only big guys, but because she doesn't wear clothes that fit her. So it makes her look like Peter Griffin. Why should we live in discomfort, even in our own homes? <laughs> we should be accommodated for, especially at our own home. You go to a hotel, towels don't wrap around. The robes don't fit. At home, everything should fit comfortably. This first aid beauty, calamine, <laughs> pore purging mask, purifying and smoothing for 10 minutes. And I wash my face like super well in the shower, but I feel like on the days where like sand, ocean is on Marshalls. The Kish ones are honestly really, really good quality. Like I will say, and they have like the cutest design. Put me on. Tea time, that, <laughs> that salon was like, <sighs> it was the first salon to put a really bad taste in my mouth. I also saw a TikTok hack that we should fold our towels like this. For them to stay up we'll see if that works but so she's got the biggest towels and they're still not staying up on it um yeah that hair salon like i just like never felt welcomed and as i like worked at other hair salons like i don't know i always just felt <laughs> there was one salon i worked at that felt more comfortable but i feel like most hair salons they do they just have like this weird catty undertone and i think that's actually one of the reasons i love to get my hair done you cannot work with people in general which is why you're a youtuber and now i'm not saying this and doesn't go out to all youtubers it's just i'm specifically saying this to alexandra because she doesn't like people she doesn't know how to react 
you know re not react she doesn't know how to yeah react and she doesn't know how to communicate with them um at Belux because everyone there is genuinely just so friendly and nice and like it doesn't have like that catty feeling this is already unfolding i don't think i've folded enough but this is this will not stay <laughs> the bb Illum i do understand why she is saying that because some salons yeah absolutely do have a caddy thing but not all of them do illuminated blonde tone enhancing leave-in spray and i'm just all about anything that will make my blonde stay toned longer stay stronger i honestly wasn't even planning to stay well not stay but like go in the ocean like up to my head like i was expecting us to kind of just bop around but it was so warm we were both like do you want to like run in the ocean <laughs> Today was exactly what my mom and I both needed. Like we've both been going through some stuff lately and it was just a perfect mother-daughter day. It really was just like perfect bonding day. <sighs> just relaxing. Honestly, <laughs> Bonnie made the day on the way home. Which is why you should be looking after your mom, not giving her treats. Uh, Yara was driving home and we were driving home. We just talked with him on speaker for like an hour. <laughs> um, and we were telling him all about Bonnie and he got like such a kick out of that story. It was yeah, genuine, sure guys. I don't I'm know if sure you can hear it. Was Hopefully you can hear it. But like, I w that was genuinely the cutest experience ever. <laughs> We'd like lift her up for each wave and she'd go, wee. <laughs> it was so cute. Be right back. Stop touching your freaking chest. I know this vlog was kind of short, but like I said, I've had a lot going on off camera lately. Um, so I'm just trying to like at least throw something up for you guys. And today was a really good day. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed even just this little vlog. I'll try to throw up at least like little vlogs here and there. Okay, guys. Next one. Bring it around. Oh my God, no. Okay. Two years ago, 2021. Downtown. Then you do this, and this, and this, and that, and this, and that, and then... Is she for real? Oh my god. She is embarrassing. She is embarrassing. No shame. She acts like a bloody idiot. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I hate what she's wearing. Oh, it's disgusting snakeskin. Today we're doing um, a misguided plus size try on haul with some super. That name suits you because you're very misguided. <laughs> super cute spring summer items. Misguided is definitely one of my go to spots for like trendy, <sighs> more affordable plus size fashion. Um, this video is in partnership with them, so thank you to them because I do be buying from them a lot. So let's go ahead. No, you don't, liar. Ed, hop into this try-on haul. Um, a couple things are not perfect fits, but I'm gonna show you what worked, Ooh, what didn't. She actually admits it this time. And everything in between, because if it might not work for me, it might still work for you. This dress, I want it to work so bad, and it's so, so beautiful. If you're a little bit smaller than me, grab it. Ugh, like this dress, it's oh just, my God. it's too tight in the bust. It is so ugly. Ab area, and, and it's not a stretchy tight. fabric. So unfortunately, I cannot make it work. Um, it's size 20. It's stunning. I do feel like misguided runs on the smaller size, more like junior plus than. It's a size 20 and it runs on the smaller side. Full plus. So I typically get a 20. Some of these items I think are even a 22, so I'll let you know. But it's really cute, kind of milkmaid style. I love the neck. It's got like scrunching, this big open chest, a lot of skin. Great for summer because it's like, it's long sleeve, but it's still very airy and light and flowy. It's got buttons down the front, the balloon sleeves, really pretty pattern. I wish this fit, it's so good. I'm surprised she wouldn't keep it because she loves stuff that tied on her. I'm like, look, I grabbed this jacket. This is a size 22. This faux leather jacket in this like minty color. Are you that is exactly your size at the moment. Not at the moment. When I say not at the moment, I mean at the moment of filming. She's a 22. That's why the 20 didn't fit her. Kidding? You know, you slip on a jacket and it just it fits like a ooh, glove. I could, oh, like I could definitely zip it if I want to. Oh my god. I, love this. I don't mind that jacket. It's it's not a bad jacket. No, I think it's because it actually fits her well. This jacket. Uh, let me know if you guys are okay with a more like casual But not with the dress. We're buds. Trying on clothes in my living room. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course, um, everything will be linked. It's got kind of a little bit of stretch to it. <laughs> I'm feeling oh myself. Oh my nice. god. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Spring staple, the color, faux leather. For a date night when it gets a little chilly. 
I'm sorry. I know it's good when I don't want to take it off. All right, let me put on some more, some more clothes. I'm a big oversized t-shirt girl. Like I- You're just a big girl, Alexandra. Um, you like to think they're oversized, but they're not. They actually fit you. I just love them. I love that they're trendy. I am wearing them with these. Anything that's not attached to her skin that she has to peel off, she will call oversized. White denim shorts that fit really well. Oh like, my God knows. Especially here. Especially there. Is this pro fupa? Comment below. Perfectly. They have no stretch. These no, are 22. This is, looks a 20. horrible. this is a very oversized fit. It's like really soft. And you know, you can do a little tie. Oh, there you go. Or you could tuck it in, wear this just open with like some biker shorts. Uh, but I love this. <laughs> oh my god, the shorts are eating her up around here. I am always on the hunt for some good plus size denim shorts. Fuck. And I'm sorry guys, how can she think that that looks good? And as she walks, mind you, that's just going to go up and up into her crotch area. Oh my god. How can you think that that looks good, Alexandra? How can you think that looks good? They make longer shorts for people your size. Just because they make these ones and they're kind of somehow what struggling to fit you, I just don't understand how she can look in the mirror and think that looks okay. These are them. Bring it around town. Then you do this and this and this and that and this and that. And then... What the fuck? Let's see. This is slow-mo, guys. It's going to make some of you laugh. Bring it around town. Then you do this and this and this and that and this and that. What and then the fuck? Oh my god, isn't she embarrassed? Is it? No. I'm sorry. Of course she's not embarrassed. Look what the fuck she's wearing. Look what she is wearing. Isn't she embarrassed? If she had any shame or embarrassed, she would not be wearing that. It's not like they're bathers, you know what I mean? They're shorts. Oh my god. And what this dance was, it must have been some TikTok bullshit. It must have been. Clapping for myself. As you can see, they've got the oh distressing. And they're not too short in the back. I think they're longer in the back. They are longer in the back. Um, and I'm telling you again, this shirt. So because the front is f is filling up your... Oh, God. Stop. What does it say? Lovely. Be kind to all. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Misguided is, like, perfect for finding, like, oversized items. Um, not oversized. It fits you, you fucking idiot. It fits you. Again, very trendy. I had to grab it. If it makes you feel better saying oversized, it must make you feel better. That's why you keep saying it. But you're in la la land, you're in delusional land. This is so cute. This looks like retro. Well, it's got the MG for misguided. Boston it on is the a back. retro jacket. Again, for like chilly nights, I think we're going to. It's a retro jacket. That's why. And if you put it on, you're going to look like a linebacker. Put a Red Sox game actually at some point. So this, oh, this is oh, adorable. God no. Oh my goodness. No. I love this. No. It's got a nice, comfortable, oversized no. fit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's got an oversized fit, guys. It's got a comfortable, oversized fit. You fucking delusional idiot. Oh my god. Oversized. It's not oversized. God. Had to when I saw Boston. I would totally wear this oh, at the Red Sox game. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Cute. So if you grab any denim from Misguided, I would definitely recommend going up one size. The zip on that jacket wasn't even working properly. I don't know if you guys noticed that. She had to pull it down three times to actually get it to work properly. Especially for non-stretch. Oh my God, get out of those fucking shorts, would you? Stretch, you can probably go true to size, but for the non-stretch, in a lot of places, I feel like for non-stretch denim, I always go up a size, so. All right, next look. Okay, next we have oh. this. Oh my God. Oh my god. No to the jeans and no to that ugly, ugly top. Body suit. So oh. good. The only thing is with these kind of tops, I feel like with any brand, they kind of roll. Like the last. Yeah, they roll because you have huge shoulders. So they roll down. That's why. 
the city part just naturally so you kind of have to just like get it where you want it Ooh, yeah but they're hack. not going to stay like that you move your arms you know unless you walk without moving your arms they're going to stay up like that to put like some fabric tape and just like tape it on, oh, ooh, and tape it on top of your bra oh my god if you have to go through that much trouble to wear a top i do again this is like a similar top vibe to that first dress i love an open chest i don't know what it is i think it's sexy and it's got this you love an open chest because it gives you some room from your chin to the chest it makes you, your chin look smaller and you love putting your hands on your chest that's why cool almost like it kind of looks like tie-dye so it's got kind of sheer oh see-through sleeves it's revolting. Seam fabric on top of a like black layering revolting part a little tie um it fits really well so i actually really like these jeans but they're just a bit big so these jeans are actually stretch jeans they're a bit big guys they're a bit big because it's not glued to her body I don't know why I got them in a 22. I'm going to re, um, re... You got them in a 22 because 22 is your size. That's why you got them in a 22. And they fit you perfectly, but they're just ugly. Re exchange. I'm going to exchange them for a 20. Because I actually really like the fit of these. So again, non-stretch. Get the size up with stretch. Um, you can go ahead and do oh true to size. Because I don't know what possesses so me. If she gets them tighter, it's going to be tighter around her stomach area here. But clearly she doesn't mind it because everything she wears is like that. Buy these in a 22 because I know myself with stretch denim. But I really, these are good jeans. <laughs> You're cute jeans. I mean, these are good jeans. These are definitely oh like the vibes. God, comment below if anyone would actually buy these jeans. They are, they are so ugly. They are so ugly and she has no kneecaps. That everyone goes for right now. You know, we're all here for the high-waisted. Gen Z says we're not doing skinny jeans anymore. Gen Z, so we have to follow what everyone says. We gotta follow the trends, guys, because God forbid we have a brain of our own. If it's one thing I hate, it's people not having a brain of their own, an opinion of their own. She's exactly, she's exactly like that. She copies everything. She doesn't have an opinion of her own. She has to go with the flow. She has to go with what's in, because she has, she li re really does have no brain. There's nothing in there. These are straight leg kind of, but these are like a nice amount of straight leg. Like it's not like flared at all or boot cut. It's like just literally. Like right around the ankle. They're ugly. <laughs> so it's not tight. It's comfortable. And so are your um, legs. How's our booty? Don't know. Can't tell. Hopefully no. good. Ugly. Um, I really like the wash too. Ugly. We've got a little oh bit of bagginess. Oh my god. Like that. Look how high up they are. Oh my god. They kind of the style so with mom jeans. Like they're never just like fitted up here. I'm sorry guys. I'm saying ugly so much. These are a staple and they're very comfortable. They got just the right amount of stretch without feeling like a jegging. Honestly, with the right size, 10 out of 10. Okay, I have a really cute sweater to show you. So the fit of this one is already supposed to be oversized, but like I was like, what if it's not oversized enough? So I got it in a 22 and it is definitely... Okay, that's oversized. But everything else fits you. Why are you stretching it out that much? We can see it's oversized. Super oversized on its own, so you can go to true to size on this if you want. It is the softest i don't know what it is <laughs> like i because i ordered a bunch from this guy gosh she exaggerates doesn't she she really exaggerates to sell the product before but like i don't know if they're changing their fabric but like it's just it went from like a nice normal t-shirt to like luxe soft but like i just can't describe like this feels like you can describe if you if you look at the fucking label on the back of your shirt everything will tell you what it's made from so you don't have to guess you can actually tell us what it's made from it just it feels expensive it feels luxurious yeah so it says well-being mg sports club and they have a ton of like trendy stuff like this at such a better price than like trendy instagram ads but like they're like 50 bucks even more so and they have like a bunch of cohort sets too um matching joggers all this haul has done is deter me from buying from that brand which i can't even remember what brand it was to begin with um would you guys be enticed to buy from this brand after seeing these clothes on her matching sets i don't know i just i am gonna be lounging in this and like you can even keep it on with like jeans like this and throw on some cute chunky sneakers okay so next i don't totally Why would you sneakers have to be chunky you're chunky enough you don't need anything else chunky we love this outfit combo no nope, the buttons are too small per se but it's kind of cute i don't know the buttons i think i would pulling. like the pieces better separately but let me know this top again no. <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing that. The buttons are pulling. Like, Loki shocked about, like, their quality step up. Because I always like their pieces, but, like, this is, like, it's, like, a nice fabric. <laughs> High qual. Um, so this is super cute. It kind of gives me, like, retro vibes. This little cropped cardigan with the no. embroidery. Buttons are hanging on for dear um, It's a pop, pop, really pop. beautiful color in person. Hopefully it's translating. It's, like, this peachy nude. Oh, 
it's just so cute i think this would look adorable with a she better wear a singlet under that or something because if she's walking there just gonna pop 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 that'll be top top that would just open and not even realize that you've got it open last pair of jeans and then a summer staple all right i also need to say this i get like trashed for standing like this let me just say this it's you do get trashed for standing like that because you look like an idiot we're not saying that you can't stand like that but you spend the whole entire haul standing like that you can walk back and forth a little bit and show us how it looks you don't have to how are you standing now yes sometimes people want to see that we do want to see how it looks when you're standing normal because the average person doesn't stand with their leg kicked out you idiot it's not super flattering for me to stand like this uh, the other way is not flattering you either. Because I got big thighs and they barely fit together. Oh my God. My fellow plus size people. Did you guys ever have this issue when you were in like elementary school or at the doctor when you had to like put your feet together and like stand up to get measured and like you had a hard time getting your feet like fully together because like your thighs were big? Just me. I just like to stand like this. Okay. But yeah, you like to stand like that because your thighs are big as well. These shorts are, oh my gosh, they're a summer staple. They're like, I think they're, I think people call them flippy shorts these days, um, but they're basically just like elasticized at the waist. Um, these are beautiful because they're like a really nice gauzy linen, like with multiple layers, so they're not see-through, they're totally opaque, um, but they're just very summery. And you can totally elevate these, you can dress them up. They're decent, the shorts are decent. With wedges, a nice blouse, um, like a blazer, oh my god, you could, you could make these so You are standing there in a top that's way too small for you the buttons are all opening you're not even acknowledging that the buttons are gonna pop any minute you're trying to tell us what goes with what don't think so or you can like wear them with a cute little crop top and sneakers they can go either way they're a staple and um i can't get it up and if you're doing an outfit thing an outfit includes shoes and you have not shown us anything that you're wearing on your feet pants in the summer these kind of shorts um yeah and the white is super nice for the warmer months make you look nice and tan and this nice thick waistband is just super comfortable you know like going out to dinner sometimes you don't want to wear jeans by the end of your dinner they're digging in <laughs> these are super comfortable so yeah i don't know i don't think i wear this together per se but i do like the two pieces all right last up is this skirt i'm going to show this style on my instagram because i'm still oh. doing no no this is just not happening it goes in there where is her kneecap? Is it here? Or is it meant to be there? My 30 days of outfits challenge. So you'll see it styled no. there because I am living. Don't mind me. With this we cardigan. don't want to see that. It like totally just, well, no, it doesn't match. So it looks like a bed sheet. She's just grabbed a bed sheet. This, this skirt is so no. good. Like it's got no. two layers. So we've got, oh my God, she has no Knee. And then this overlay, this she asymmetrical has no overlay. knee. The dent just goes in. How can I get that? Hang on, let me get that off for a minute. Oh, how do I get that off? It's annoying. Overlay with the twist. Like, are you kidding me? Wear this to work there. on a date night. There. Be a baddie like you are, boo. Oh, I think we my. just ended on my favorite piece. She say that we're there to work? Is she fucking serious? If she sits down, does she know how high that's going to go up? Did she just say you can wear it to work? Because she's never had a real job in her life, so she's got no clue. Like, are you kidding me? Wear this to work. On wear this to night. work. Wear this to work. Oh my God, you're fucking delusional. Be a baddie like you are, boo. I think we just ended on my favorite piece. Oh my God. Yep, take advice from this girl whose buttons are going to pop and who when she sits down that's going to go right up inside her vagina it's disgusting can't wait to style this iron it style it work it oh now that i'm officially God. sweating uh, i'm gonna wrap up this video that's everything that i work it work it guys okay next one hey guys welcome two years ago again must have plus size basics bras t-shirts jeans and more you are the last to give anybody any critique on what bra to buy that's for sure but let's see what she's got to say back or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is alex i am plus size and i do a multi-sized 
ton of plus size fashion content. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Today I'm going to be pulling all of my favorite plus size must have basics that I've accumulated over the years, some products that I just absolutely- Her earrings don't even want to sit on her face. They're running away from her cheeks adore this video has been super duper requested i am a basic i'm sure it hasn't queen i live for a nice white t-shirt a good pair of jeans and then you can dress it up with like wedges booties or you can dress it down with sneakers add a moto jacket i just ooh, i love basics we're going to be going from intimates to jeans t-shirts and uh, some items in between so let's go ahead and get started So first, we're going to start with, we're going to go like from the lowest layer outward. Um, but first, I have to mention this robe. Um, whew, every time I wear this robe, y'all go crazy. This spa waffle. I like that robe. I think it's really nice. Full robe. I bought this on Amazon a while back and I wear it almost every single day. I get out of the shower, I put it on. I'm changing from pajamas to my regular You never wear a robe in the cam in front of the camera, so don't lie and say you wear it every time you have a shower or after you shower. I've never seen you in that robe. Clothes in between I have it on, like it's just the best. I searched high and low to find a good plus size spa robe. That actually feels like you're out of She's got dirt on it. I know, it is dirt. I thought it was my screen. Here. It's just got dirt on it already. And there's something there. Spa. It's just the best. I really so, thought that was my screen. I can write about screen. this for another 15 minutes, it's but I'm shut up. And of course, I will link... Ooh, this mascara. Got mascara on my uh. chest. And of course, you already know, I'll link everything below and make it super easy for you guys. Next, we're going to get into my current favorite plus size bra. I grab this every single day. I also have it in black. I'm probably going to order more colors. It doesn't hold you up. It does nothing for you. These need to be lifted. That's what a support bra does. Because it's just, it's the best. Um, it's very comfortable. It is wire free. It's from Torrid. Um, I love how it has the adjustability in the front. That's always a huge bonus for me. But the reason why you never adjust it, you always have it on the lowest thing. They're, they're sagging. It's not a proper bra. The reason I love this so much is I feel like being plus size, the back of your bra matters like a lot. There's nothing worse than those. And so does the back of your bathing suits when you buy them. Those days where you're just constantly pulling the back of your bra down and it's rolling up, it's digging into your fat roll, it's it's just simply simply it's a list. So this is their 3D. Are they doing construction right now? Oh I'm so sorry. It's called their like 360 back smoothing bra. It comes up really high on each backside. There is no effort, no effort to conceal the back rolls okay but if she were to make these tighter and lift up automatically the back lifts it's because she has it sitting low like that and the back is not having to do much work and it's all it's no it's just not a wealth of course bra. here we embrace the back rolls but there's something about having them smoothed out when you're wearing like a tight t-shirt it's honestly just more comfortable than anything so uh i could not recommend this bra more it's my daily bra it does not dig in anywhere it leaves me smooth and they also i believe on tour have a push-up option um if you don't want something this is like a t-shirt bra so it like comes up high here and it might not work if you're wearing something low cut but they have more of a cut like this that's a push-up with the back smoothing i will link both of them i do also have one of the push-up ones somewhere in my closet um and it gives me like a lot of lift like for the day-to-day -day, i don't need that much lift <laughs> but uh it looks it looks good so i can honestly recommend both types of this you back never wear bra. okay you never so next up we have underwear these are my favorite so these are also from torrid uh they are smoothing they are just like perfect for the day-to-day -day. uh so they're nice and high-waisted they're like I don't know, a couple inches above my belly button, and it gives you a really nice kind of smoothing panel in the front. And when it comes to thongs, I don't like, like just like a string up on my sides. Like I want a little bit of support. This will give me that. So it's kind of awesome. It kind of works like shapewear, but it also gives you the concealing in the back no, for panty lines. It's not uncomfortable too. too, though, I will say. Like it's giving me some smoothing in the front. I mean, guys, I'm not saying that everything that you have to wear, you know, it's got to be fantastic um, or, you know, stunning. 
underneath your clothes. But they're just smoke. It's giving me granny vibes. Without being like, oh my god, this is Sphinx. This is uncomfortable. Like, it looks so good under all pants. Torrid is pretty much my go-to favorite spot for underwear. Um, they just have always been one of my favorites. Like, Lane Bryant's okay. I don't know. I just always tend to go to Torrid just because it's what I... She's been moving a little bit, guys, and her bra has already twisted. No, it's what I love. So this okay. is my favorite thong style from them. Just because it does give me that little bit of extra protection and just it looks so seamless under all your clothes. And then these are my favorite briefs. It's twisting and she hasn't even got it up. You know what I mean by up? She hasn't even got it supporting her boobs much. They've got the cute little Torrid logo on the top. These are a staple. They're cute. They're comfortable. They don't ride up in the bum. They don't give you a wedgie. They're like the perfect briefs. I have so... Oh, that's killing me, that strap. When I want her to fix it, she doesn't. So many pairs of these. Next up, I'm just gonna grab some shapewear. Um, the underwear, by the way, I wanna give you guys size references. I get in a 2X. This bra, I get in a 44D. Oh, so God. these are my Fixed favorite it. type of shapewear. These are Spanx. I'll link the exact kind, but I get these in a 2X as well. So these are very sleek and smooth, comfortable. I've had them for a really long time. And they I've used them before, something like that material, and it doesn't really hold you in properly. It doesn't hold you anywhere in, um, as much as the other thicker material um i'm not saying it has to be really really thick but like the coarser material you know what i'm talking about they yeah they suck you in but this doesn't really suck you in much but yet yeah, it would be more comfortable obviously because the material is softer they actually really do hold up like i've got a little bit of pulling on the stitching after wearing it like a million times but they're still in great shape <laughs> they can still be worn many more times like they're very smoothing like they just look very seamless when you put them on i'll go ahead and put them on for you and they're the perfect length they're at a short level where it avoids chub rub, but also they don't roll up the whole night under your dress. Just the perfect amount. It comes like up pretty high. I could probably even pull it up higher. There's something going on outside. Um, but yeah. You can't pull it up higher because you can see they're already starting to roll down. And the legs look kind of short when I hold them up, but like because they stretch, they're actually pretty low down, like two inches above my knee. All right, next up, we have some t-shirts that I am obsessed with. I can't tell you how many times I have repurchased these. They're just my go-tos for t-shirts. So these are it's comfortable. It's, like, um, it's <laughs> I don't a nice t-shirt. But laundry around the house, I like one. And it one. fits so well. I, uh, a little too high, and I feel like I always have to pull it down. Or when they're too long, they just don't feel like a classic. Why? You're proud of your arms. You wear short sleeve stuff. I don't because I'm not proud of my arms. I don't like showing my arms, but you do, so I don't understand what the length of the sleeves have anything to do with it. It's kind of t-shirt, and that's the look I want. They're just ugh, soft, buttery fabric. They hit every single time, so I cannot recommend these enough. Torrid. The fabric does look lovely. I did not realize how much I love you guys. <laughs> As I mentioned, I am a t-shirt fanatic. I love the look of a t-shirt and jeans, like a little side tuck or a full tuck or full um, to basics. like. I don't get too much <coughs> there, Excuse I mean, sometimes. Me, like, sometimes I'll scroll through their new arrivals page and I'll find some, like, good gems, but on the day-to-day -day tie-dye marbling one. These are also great just for lounging around the house. They're super comfortable on the skin. They're a staple in the wardrobe for basics or for layering. All right, it's time to talk about jeans. I know we all love jeans, and I am forever on the hunt for the perfect plus-size jeans. For people who are shaped like me, I don't have much of a waist. I don't have much hips. Kind of just like a tube. Yep. <laughs> and that's okay. We all have different... Spot on different body shapes but I feel like a lot of plus size jeans are accommodated for mainly like hourglass or that's what we see them modeled on so follow me on TikTok because I'm currently doing a series testing different plus size jeans and trying to find the perfect pair for non hourglass shaped bodies my username will be right up here it is Alexandra Irene Rodriguez super long but it's worth it first up we have this pair from Ava and Viv which I bought at Target unfortunately this specific pair I don't think is available anymore but I recently bought so why are you showing them another pair of Ava and Viv that feel almost identical to these um, that were actually just on my TikTok for that series. But these are so honestly, Ava and Viv jeans are phenomenal. Don't show the ones that people can't buy. Phenomenal. So I have these in a size 20. I went back to get an 18 and they were not in stock. So I usually just wear them with a belt. When they first come out of the dryer, they fit like a glove. But as I wear them, even after I put them on, they get a little bit loose, uh, but they're extremely comfortable. So I would say it's either true to size or go down a size. If you choose to order online, I would definitely order like the size you think you should get and then also a size lower, uh, just cause they do run a little bit big and they have a ton of stretch. So these are the perfect length. Even Viv has had a lot of like straight. How about this? How about this for some news? Why don't you go into the store and actually try them on? 
instead of having to order a size above and size, size be below and then return the one that you don't want. How about you go in and try them? Crop jeans, like that come right to the ankle. I love that these have the frayed cut bottom. The raw hem is so trendy. They the look straight nice. Length is trendy. The ankle length is trendy. They really hit the nail on the head with- I like those jeans and then I like the color. This, uh, they're the perfect height in terms of high waistedness and uh, they feel like a second skin. So I could not recommend these enough. Actually, this is literally the pair I just put on TikTok. Um, I left the tag on, I'm gonna go exchange them for um, an 18. I hope they still have them in the store, but I think these are definitely still available. They are tight enough on her here. They fit her well. How much tighter does she want to cut the blood circulation off here? Well, these don't have the raw hem. You could cut them if you want, and they are a lighter medium wash, but these also were just as comfortable as the last pair. Like, these are the perfect everyday jeans. Like, I'm praying they have um, another one in stock. Next up for jeans, I know these look so small. I'm like, huh? Uh, these are actually the Good American Always Fits. These shook me. Look, like, look how good they look. <laughs> they fit so comfortably. So these... I would say there's been a lot of editing done to this pair because her thighs are not that small. Sorry, and there's no miracle pants that will make your thighs look that small. You have to fit your skin in some way. This has been edited to high heaven, and so has this section here. That's all been edited, so don't lie are really cool jeans that yeah, you're cool jeans if you know you know um so these jeans actually run in sizes or increments of four sizes and i love that chloe came out with this concept um basically like hey like your weight can fluctuate your size can fluctuate but your jeans will always fit i guarantee you if she tried them on now and that's why she doesn't have them on they're not going to look like that photo no <laughs> so way. these are for size 14 to 18 i am a size 18 20 and these fit perfectly i didn't know if i should do the next size up but i'm glad i didn't the stretch in these is nuts these are a skinny jean this is the color I got. It's kind of like, I'll link the one I got, but it's like that classic blue. Um, they feel absolutely incredible. Truly like a second skin, but these are skinny jean, rather than eagle, mom jean. Oh, I feel I like hate everyone them. has recently been put- I hate them. They're so ugly. Onto these, they're so popular now. She just goes with what's popular. I understand that she's a YouTuber, right? And she's got to go with the trends and show people what the, what the trends are. But you don't have to say you like every trend that comes out. You can be honest with yourself. Um, maybe she does like them because she's got bad taste and everything. Um, they look horrible. They look horrendous. They make her legs look like more tree trunks and those shoes are ugly. And I love mine. I have several different watch face after the zip. Any sort of American Eagle um, mom jeans, make sure you buy the stretchy ones. Like. Also, how many pairs of jeans does someone need? I have three pairs. And that's it. I don't need 500 pairs of jeans. Period. If you buy the non-stretchy ones, you're gonna have to size way up and they're not as comfortable at all. You guys know I am a stan of biker shorts. I love biker shorts. Like on the day to day, this is my favorite thing to just do things around the house, clean, whatever, even just editing. I love that I can also just like throw on my sneakers if I wanna run out. I get mine and I also highly recommend sports press because I don't like baby and they're so affordable these are from rue 21 they are so stinking cute they why don't you have them on they've got a nice thick stretch band in the back they're like i said they're just so affordable they have different colors i love lounging around in these they just make me feel a bit more dolled up you could always throw on uh, a cardigan with it or like layer with this but uh, i'm just really glad we were able to find these because i feel <clears> like i've always seen them at like free people <laughs> and not in my size and too expensive. <laughs> so couldn't recommend these more. Sorry, I keep saying that. When I am just chilling around the house, sorry, this is it has underneath spacing under around just day-to-day -day bralette that actually gives a little bit of support. This is perfect. All right, I think this video is getting really long. That's all I have for you guys today. It's bralette, not bralette, bralette. She has to change the words of everything that she says. All right, guys, let's go on to the next one. Let's do one more. <laughs> two years ago this one we just watched the other day this might have been the one we watched already no similar all right you guys it is go time <clears throat> I hope you guys are not getting too bored. I'll stop it after this one. 
I ordered so much from Shein all swim. I've been getting a ton of requests lately to do a Shein swimwear haul, kind of give it a little review, see how the swimwear is. And honestly, when I was buying everything, I was shook. Like they have some cute yes. stuff. We have a, a lot of swimsuits to try on today. So go grab yourself some no. water, juice, snack, something. Cause no, this try on haul is about to be lit. All right, <laughs> let's get into it. First and foremost, I will say, I'm still very impressed with Shein's packaging. It's like this matte, like Ziploc bag that says Shein on it. I forgot I got this little cover up skirt. This is so stinking cute. This is how some of their other packaging looks. All right, let's uh, oh, let's start God, this first one out with TikTok all the time. Okay, how did it go? <laughs> All right, we're starting the first one off on a pretty hot note. I love this. They're, <laughs> they're ugly. They fit her well, but they're just ugly. Certain things. Well, I love this fire. It's not. Okay, good. It's got a little oh tie. Oh my God, it's no. a little loose. I love this, but I think it would look really cute with this. Oh, I think oh they're cute, God, but not on her. <laughs> this is so stinking cute. Okay, good. It's got a little tie. It's a little loose. But then again, I've, I've seen her oh, wear worse. So maybe they, no, maybe they do look okay. This is yeah, so not bad. cute. That's not bad, actually. I love the combo. My butt's coming out the bottom. Oh, oh yes. The little, like, but we've never seen her wear this stuff. The crochet. She goes on about how much she loves it. We've we never really see her wear that. I mean, she goes to the beach and she's walking just with, you know, those on. Just her bathers on. Yeah. I'm going to rate these on a 1 to 10 scale. This whole thing is a 10. All right. Next. All right. Next up, we have this really cute three-piece set and that's something that i really liked when i was shopping they had a lot of sets with like matching pieces included i mean okay okay she in oh. so this set's really cute it's got this classic triangle bikini oh, top no, no, guys. it's it not the worst like, some almost high-waisted bottoms but like not really and then this really cute tie skirt it's got like two it's different just, little it's ties too high up I'm trying here. to figure out where to sit it on my waist alas it she is. wouldn't be comfortable in that there's no way she'd be comfortable in that. We'll never see her wear this. Absolutely adorable. The back, just a classic no, sorry. string bikini. This is me you just reminding lost me you when that you your back, you the back is fine. No. We've all got back rolls. Even some of the skinniest people got back rolls. <laughs> Let them shine, boo. But I love... We understand that. We understand that. And good luck to whoever's happy in, in showing their back rolls. But I personally am not. And I, I don't think it looks nice. I don't think it looks appealing. And again, it's got to do with, you know, pride having some kind of shame of this green tie-dye i think they had other colors of this one i'm not sure um i don't know how shein is if like these things will still be available if they are i'll link them but i don't even want to take this off am i like ridiculous to give this also 10 out of 10 like i'm actually okay i'm um, and it's got kind of a thicker band at the top to kind of just i like them they're cute oh my god so i can't even say that word now without thinking of her but i do like them i love anything gingham and anything checkered like that stay in place i like that a lot the bust is really nice it's got again just like cups that i did have to adjust but, but they're you know a good fit this feels like you the know cups are the cups are too small for her um i, I don't like a um a bay that and some people don't mind it but showing that bit there where it's, it's just stretching and falling into there i like one that sort of covers a bit more you know it's a fuller cup each to their own, but I do like them. They're not bad on her. All of these feel like something I'd buy at Target, like just as good. So the only thing with this is that like this part, and this is something that gets annoying with bathing suits sometimes. Up. I feel like this part either needs to just not exist or be longer so I can actually like keep it in place, but it just ends up rolling up the bottom. Yeah, because her fat is pushing it up. These are great. I don't really have any complaints about the bottoms. Um, my issue is the back. <laughs> oh, like, so the back. That's nasty, but it's not any nastier than the one she liked before when she said let the back rolls flow so why is this one any different to her class for anything and it's really thin like it's just gobbled up by the back fat i am thankful that the straps are adjustable but i wish that like it was a little thicker because it does fit like i've got room but makes like no sense. just when you have a thin makes no sense because the other one i'm gonna go back and look at it because the other one was if not worse let's have a look which one was it that one yeah, it was that one where's this one no bits in between here I'm trying to figure out where to sit it on my waist alas it is absolutely adorable the back just a classic string oh, bikini that's this not is better. me reminding you that your back like 
I feel like you could just, I do feel like it's a little hard to keep these. It tends to get lost. <laughs> so that's the only thing. It's just gobbled up by the base, but it just ends up rolling up. The bottoms are great. I don't really have any complaints about the bottoms. Um, my issue is the back. <laughs> like, so the back doesn't clasp or anything. And God, it's I can't tell really the difference, guys. Thin. To me, it looks like, the same. It's just gobbled up by the back fat. Maybe I am thankful that the straps right? are adjustable, but I wish that, like... But she wears stuff like that anyway, so all of a sudden she's conscious of it. It was a little thicker. Because it does fit. Like, I've got room, but, like, just when you have a thin back strap, it tends to get lost. <laughs> so that's the only thing I would change, but overall it is a really cute suit. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 just because I love the pattern. <laughs> and the bottoms fit like a dream, and the coverage in the front is nice. Okay, this... This is adorable, guys. Are you kidding? The only annoying thing is like keeping the ruffle in place. And this, that's the kind of back I'm talking about. This back coverage is immaculate. This. That covers her well. I don't like it. I don't like the design. I don't like the fluffy, these fluffy things here, sleeves. And I don't like this whole open section. Ruffle. I don't think it's top. flattering. Oh, it's so cute. So it's got the ruffle detailing up here. <clears throat> I do feel like it's a little hard to keep these straight just because like straps naturally roll. Um, and then we've got, oh, oh, oh. Well, that's kind of wonderful. Like there's two different ways to wear it. So if you want a little more coverage in the front, oh my God, I didn't know this came off. Um, and then the bottoms are like a mid rise. They've got a built in little side tie. Good coverage on the bum. Yeah, not bad on her. They're like pretty standard bottoms. Like literally, I feel like you could just wear this as a crop top. I can it's still see good. the shoulders rolling off though. The shoulders rolling off when she moves. Cool. So yeah, you can wear this a few different ways if you want it to kind of bunch up in the front. This is a cute suit. The only thing, I mean, honestly, like the fit of it is really good. Um, it feels very, very comfortable. The same great quality. Th this is just annoying to me, but like that's not really their fault. It's like the style's fault. So I'm gonna yeah, give but it you're that. always lifting up your tops like that anyway. Your normal tops that you wear every day, you're always lifting them up. How many times do you adjust them? And I pick around on it. One out of ten, just because I would be annoyed with this flipping all day. This is really fun. <laughs> I was very drawn that's to nice. this one on the website. So, like, I yeah, even love I don't mind that on her. It fits her well. Like kind of under the arm area, so like everything feels very secure. This is easily a 10 out of 10. So obviously on one side we've got kind of like these palm leaves, and then on this side we've got just a solid green, and then it ties on the side. So it looks like this. And then the nice part is you can kind of tie it as tight as you knit free happening here. No. <laughs> but surprisingly I feel oh pretty secure. God, surprisingly. That's horrible. Would I wear this to the water park? No. <laughs> Imagine your suntan marks here. <laughs> she's gonna end up looking like a the bloody salami. With the string around it. Would I wear it lounging by the pool? Heck yes. No. This is a fun suit. And this is one of the more risque pieces. <laughs> so risky. Um, but I was kind of curious how the style would be. And I'm super impressed. Like this haul so far, I'm insanely impressed and kind of surprised. I've bought a lot of Shein in the past. Um, and most of the time I'm pleasantly surprised. But I wasn't really sure how all this different kind of swimwear would be. So first and foremost, the pattern is so cute. So it's like a leopard cheetah. I don't know the difference between the two, but it's, it's got a lot of fun like... colors. It's got the black, brown, it's got like blue and tan on a white background. So, and then you get kind of, because it has like a nice U shape. It feels like, I was afraid my boobs would be like coming out, <laughs> you know, but like, so we've got more ruffle action. And I will say because the strap on this one is thicker than that other ruffle one. I just these think roll, she needs so to buy them. Much more comfortable. Like you don't have to worry oh, about She has them. an awkward body. She just has an awkward body. I just think she needs to buy the cups bigger rolling it's got ruffle detailing underneath that also doesn't roll up so i like that um it's got like a little less coverage than the other ones but like a very normal amount the ruffling comes down the side underneath it has like a little attachment here as well for the ruffle the bottoms are a very comfortable high waist bottom so the ruffle detailing goes up and over on the strap in the back connected by like a string bikini strap so again it kind of depends on like your comfort level if you are comfortable wearing like a string in your back rolls but i want to give it a nine only because i wish the string in the back was like a real thick strap but like that's not their fault that's like how it was just made how i bought it but i wish it had a thick like juicy band in the back for comfort but i mean overall this is a very adorable comfortable swim suit um all of these are so comfortable like none of them have felt tight or mm. pinchy we've got another ruffle moment i think this is my last ruffle piece this is a lot of swimsuits it's kind of my biggest swimsuit haul ever so i love this with the oranges like 
come on so this is actually a one piece and it's really cool because it looks like a two piece so it's got the ruffle detailing down here again fixed strap comfortable yeah, it's not me to... eh, no i don't like that on her worry about them rolling under coming down into i think i just got spoiled <laughs> with a few of them having like full back coverage um but this is really stinking cute again good coverage here it's like a little bit more open but like the actual coverage is there um it comes to a nice point for like the faux bottoms just because it's not my favorite like style i'm gonna give it a nine this is so cute i want to wear all of these as like shirts okay so this next one piece is really interesting like it doesn't feel like a swimsuit this feels like a shirt and i swear i want to wear this as a top with some cute high-waisted jeans so this is as far as she i can wear that as a top it the bottom look bad. has less coverage than to be desired so it's like kind of high legged mm. not a lot of a lady part coverage right. uh, but the top is really cool this definitely gives that's a shame it's a nice one gives me way more bodysuit vibes and bathing suit vibes like the fabric feels more like a fabric than like a swimsuit fabric so it's got these little keyholes here and then it oh is this adjustable oh nice because it does feel a little loose it's got the ruffle oh that's kind of nice it gives a little cinching right here i like i'm gonna wear this as a top catch me on instagram you'll see and then the back is also really cool it's got a crisscross no. Nope, nope, not a chance in hell. She was blaming the other suit for giving her extra back fat here. That's just her back fat. That is just her rolls. There, there, and there. Sorry, Peter Griffin. I'm sorry, but you... you got to own them. You cannot blame the bathing suit for being too tight. Took me a while to figure it out, but we got it is there. what it is, I right? Wish you guys could feel the fabric. It feels like a shirt. It is what anyway, it is. Definitely gonna be wearing this as a bodysuit. So the coverage on the bottom is like crazy, <laughs> not for me. Um, so I'm gonna give this in 7.5. Okay, next up we have this freaking adorable bikini. I love the color blocking of the hot pink and the baby pink. This is adjustable. You can tie it looser or tighter. The bottoms definitely are not like high waisted. They're kind of like a mid rise. Um, we've got nice coverage in the front. All of these have had adjustable cups, which I really like. They're not bad. Like they come in a really 10 out of 10 bandeau top. Plus size bandeau tops, I feel like are so hit or miss. Like they either will fall down. I think they fit her well, but they're ugly. If you know what I mean. Down, roll down. They just aren't thick enough or won't stay in place. This one, it does not come off. Like, <laughs> or roll. I'm fully bent and it does not come off. They it fit has her well. really good coverage in the yep, back. Yep, they cover her everywhere she needs to be covered. And the bottoms are super cool. So they're high-waisted, and then they have these two straps that come up on the sides. So I like the marble pack. Next, we have this adorable striped yellow bikini. So it's adorable, <laughs> clearly. So it's got like the pinstripes. I don't mind it, but it's not much... Um... It just doesn't lift them up. I hate saggy boobs. Sorry, guys. I hate saggy boobs. I love bathing suits like this that have like a built-in little tie. I think they're so fashionable and flattering. Um, and then we've got a scoop neck bikini top. The cups on these are like really round. <laughs> Overall, I do like them. It's got little tie straps on the top, um, a nice high rise bottom. Sorry, my, I've actually been filming so long that my brand new battery just died and I had to swap it out. So um, I will say, like I said, this is long enough where when I bend over, it doesn't roll, and I really appreciate that. Like, the quality is there. The strap in the back is decent. I would love more coverage, but, like, it's pretty standard. These bottoms are definitely a lot more, it's like, standard. cheeky than other ones. It's standard. Those rolls are not going anywhere. They're there. So, no matter what you wear, um, if you're looking for something to flatter you when you're wearing thin, thin ones like that, it's not going to flatter you. But overall, I really like this suit, and I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, my God, we're at the last one thank the lord so i wish we were ending on a hotter note <laughs> um because i had really high hopes for this but that's okay because this haul was very successful regardless um, well, it's not bad you've tried on uglier i like this sure. hot pink but like the fit is a little weird first of all the straps keep rolling and that's my pet peeve it's weird how some do and some don't i thought this i have a mirror here by the way i thought this was going to be like really trendy oh, with those straps are too long like courtney kardashian right so those straps are actually too long for her so they're she needs a bit of lift, but they're ones that you can't um, adjust, so they're just like that. And yeah, she doesn't feel comfortable in it. Stuff like this, but the V is just like not the right size, and then like <laughs> there's not the right amount of coverage. Like my boob side fat just looks like weird. I don't know how this could be better. It just kind of didn't work out, but I mean it's okay. And then it also has like this weird stitching right here, which I don't know why. The back is pretty standard. Like it's almost there 
almost. Uh, I have one last cover-up. I do love the cover-up, like a lot. It's got um. Uh, cover-up's a cover-up. Kind of medium slits, just like a black crochet cover-up. I love this. <laughs> like I feel like I would wear this totally to the beach. You know when you're you like, never do. Through... You've never worn it to the beach. Part of the beach, and you're like, hmm, should I put on like a real outfit or just my bathing suit? Thumbs up if you're not saying she never wears it to the beach. I mean, she goes from the car to the beach and doesn't even wear it on. Wait for summer. Anyway, <laughs> this was the last item. This is a 10 out of 10. Honestly, overall, I'm extremely impressed. My makeup's a mess. Don't look at it. Shein, you really shocked me on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, I have to say, um, I think I agreed with her more than any other haul that she's done about the bathers in these. There are quite a few that actually sat well on her and suited her. All right, my friends, I think this has been long enough. I don't even know how long this is going to be, but I hope it hasn't bored you. I had fun with it. I still have a few more coming, um, and they're all just sort of random, random vlogs, but if there's any particular ones that you want me to um, comment to, I will definitely do them. I promised you guys I'm going to do... Oh, um, the Curvy Connection, the first one and the last episode. So I have promised a few people on my channel that I'm going to do, and, and I will do it for you guys. You just got to catch me on the right day because it's going to be so freaking painful for me to watch that. You're going to hear me do nothing but complain, but I promise you I will do it for you. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I'm ready to go make some lunch now. I'm getting um, quite hungry. What time is it? Oh, it's actually quarter past two. So I'm going to have a, a late lunch.